Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease affecting approximately 300 million individuals globally. Acute exacerbations, defined as sudden worsening of symptoms, require timely and targeted intervention to prevent serious complications. This discussion will focus on managing asthma exacerbations within the emergency department setting. Initial Assessment Initial evaluation of a patient presenting with an asthma exacerbation includes obtaining vital signs such as heart rate, respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, and blood pressure. Assess the severity of the exacerbation using peak expiratory flow PEF, measurements. Mild exacerbations correspond to a PEF greater than 80% of the predicted value. Moderate exacerbations range between 60 and 80%, and severe cases present with PEF below 60%. Life-threatening conditions are characterized by symptoms such as marked fatigue, confusion, or cyanosis. Treatment protocols. The treatment approach for asthma exacerbations is structured to stabilize the patient and address the underlying airway inflammation and bronchoconstriction. Oxygen therapy. Administer supplemental oxygen to maintain oxygen saturation levels above 94%. Bronchodilator therapy, salbutamol, also known as albuterol, is delivered through a metered dose inhaler with a spacer. Typical dosing involves four to eight puffs every 20 minutes for up to three doses, followed by administration every one to four hours as required. Nebulized bronchodilators may be appropriate in severe cases or when inhaler therapy proves insufficient. Systemic corticosteroids. Prednisone, dosed at 50 mg orally daily for at least five days, is indicated for moderate to severe exacerbations to reduce airway inflammation. Advanced treatments. For patients with persistent symptoms despite initial therapy, Options include subcutaneous administration of epinephrine or terbutaline. Anticholinergic agents, such as ipratropium bromide, may also be beneficial in severe cases. Monitoring and discharge. Patients undergoing treatment for asthma exacerbations require continuous monitoring of peak expiratory flow and overall clinical status. Criteria for safe discharge include the resolution or significant improvement of symptoms, a peak expiratory flow above 80% of the predicted value, or consistent improvement if the initial value range between 60 and 80%, and normal oxygen saturation while breathing room air. Additionally, Confirm the patient's comprehension of asthma management strategies and follow-up requirements. Discharge planning and patient education. Effective discharge planning is essential to reducing the risk of future exacerbations. Provide the patient with a written asthma action plan that outlines proper medication use, strategies for avoiding known triggers, and clear guidance on when to seek emergency care. Reinforce the importance of adherence to inhaled corticosteroids as maintenance therapy in combination with bronchodilators. Schedule a follow-up appointment with the patient's primary care provider or a specialist within a few days to reassess asthma control and medication use. Key takeaways. Prompt administration of bronchodilators is vital in managing asthma exacerbations with repeat doses delivered every 20 minutes during the initial phase. Systemic corticosteroids play an integral role in controlling airway inflammation in moderate to severe cases. Comprehensive discharge planning, emphasizing education and follow-up care, is a critical component of improving patient outcomes and minimizing the risk of hospital readmission. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.